Here we are at Brecken Beacons National Park with my wind muffin, the camera frame, with beautiful whales in the background behind me. We are gonna go uh, look at a couple of Neolithic stone monuments today. Uh, we are gonna go to Mayan Lila. We are gonna go to a, a, a henge, a stone circle. But uh, right now we've stopped at this uh, stone wall behind me. Um, this particular location was listed, oh, hello Trudy. Um, this particular location was listed as uh, the Devil's Elbow, and we can't really figure out why. Can you figure out why um, this is called the Devil's Elbow? Not quite, there's a, there's a tiny outcrop of rock there that could be kind of considered devilishly elbowed, but um, other than that, I'm not sure. <laughs> devilishly elbowed that's a <laughs> that's an, an adjective if I ever heard one all right so let's go walk up the road and have a look at Mayan Lila all right so uh, Prudy and I are uh, here at Mayan Lila this uh, beautiful standing stone in the background behind me and we are gonna go take a closer look at it in just a moment um, it is thought uh, not much is known about this stone it's thought to have been built uh, put up during the Bronze Age I say built but really it's just a rock um, it's thought to have been put up during the Bronze Age um, and is cut from red sandstone from from here in the area um, but before we go down there uh, one of the most interesting things about this place is that this road uh, is an old Roman road so obviously there is uh, modern pavement here on top of the road um, and uh, the cobble down here along the edge is is the Roman road and uh, it's just crazy to think Trudy and I are just sitting here talking about how um, you know 2,000 years ago people were walking on these self same stones um, in their leather sandals transporting cattle and goods or or what whatnot um, down to the to the forts and strongholds that they built in the area um, and we're talking about people that you know, you hear the term Anglo-Saxon, um, and in modern usage, it's just meant to describe, you know, the British. Um, but it, it, you're thinking about uh, Romans that had contact with Celtic people long before our Germanic ancestors ever came to this place. Um, and so it's it's really it's really crazy to think about, and it and it's really uh, you know touching and and moving in a way to be able to to come to this beautiful country and um, dip back into this history. So um, welcome to Wales. Let's go take a look at the stone. So what's crazy to me is that this stone, we were just talking about it up there. Um, there's a stone placard with information about the site and it has a timeline of everything around here. Um, and 1900 years ago, the Romans invaded Wales. 4,000 years ago, this stone was put up. Um, and it was carried here by a glacier. And so as you can see, we're kind of in a valley, um, in a glacial valley here. And so it was, it was carried here by a glacier. Um, and that this thing, this magnificent beast, watched the Romans come and go, watched the Bretons come and go, Watch the Anglo-Saxons come and go. Watch the, the Norman beacons. invasion. The beacons. Saw the beacons at the tops of these hills. So the and on top of the. Please forgive the wind muff. 
in the camera frame. I don't like to apologize for things like that. Like I'm out here, I did all the traveling, I'm making the video. Y'all can deal with a little bit of a wind muff in the camera frame. Um, <laughs> up on top of these hills, um, there were beacons, right? So this is the Brecon Beacons National Park and that's why it's called that because the, the Welsh would burn their beacons on top of these hills um, to, to for whatever purpose beacons were burned yeah so it's just insane to me to think that you know everything that this stone has seen and I think it's really lovely that you know the the sun has just come out to greet us and the colors here? what colors oh yeah and it this just, just... lichen And there's a good sheep, sheep rub spot there. Oh yeah. When you've got an itchy bum. <laughs> if you are a sheep and you need to itch yeah. your bum, there's some wool here from that. That's uh, the original twerking area. So I don't know how much you can see in the background here, but there's a ring in the heather. Um, heather takes its name from heath. It's the, it's the plant that grows on the heath. And the heath is where heathens get our name, right? The people of the heath. So I think it's very fitting that this hengu, this henge, is under heather. Um, but here you can see in the ring, you can see the ring of the henge. Uh, presumably there would have been stones or this is just a mound and there's kind of a dip in the middle of it, which I think is really, really interesting. But it's just really an honor to be here and to get to see this thing that has been here and presumably been visited by people for thousands of years. and served a significant as a significant place in their life where they might have done uh, rituals and had ceremonies to commemorate certain uh, parts of their life births deaths coming of age um, and to kind of be here and and get to feel the the energy of the place and feel the spirits of the place is really um, it's touching it's touching for me all right and so Thank you, Trudy, my lovely assistant here. Um, in the background, over here, where's my arm? In the background here, you can see Mayan Lila. Um, Mayan Lila, Tlech Lila. Presumably there was a connection between the standing stone and the henge. Um, I'm not sure about the angles and degrees, but, you know, as fans of the solstice and different sun holidays, um, presumably this might have marked the sunrise point on the winter solstice or the summer solstice. Um, that is the northeast, um, so it might have been, you know, the sunrise point at the, at the summer solstice, but, um, yeah. It's such a cool landscape here. I'm really fascinated by this, by this place. Say hi to my camera. <laughs>
Ja. Yeah. That's cool. I wondered, by the way, as well, with the... Oh, remind me of what the circle thing was. A hinge. And you've got the stone here. Whether there's any... We well, can't see it. But the tip of the hill. Whether there was any connection, like of a trio thing. Like with the beacon point? Yeah. Because you've well, got... Well, yeah, because it's kind of in a line, it's right? Like a tri well... I was thinking of like a triangle, like whether there was some sort of... Well then the apex would have been the stone. You can't see it, the thing is you can't see it from here. But you can see the, is it, what's the, not way marker, what's the top of the hill? The beacon. No, no, no. Oh, the, the, the summit. The height thing. You get the height marker, where it tells you how the many thousand. Benchmark. Yeah, we'll go with that. It's not that, but yeah. It's a benchmark. Is it a benchmark? Yeah. In the States, it's a benchmark. <laughs> well, we're not. And I should know, I'm from Colorado. We uh, have 54, 14,000 foot peaks. <laughs> I've seen not, many, many benchmarks in my life. <laughs> not to be too specific. Uh, well, darling, we're in the UK. I know. Okay, we don't call them benchmarks here. No. But for the life of me, I can't remember what we do call them. Well, <laughs> So. you call erasers rubbers. <laughs> <laughs> and you call panty pads napkins. <laughs> so I don't want to know what you call a benchmark. <laughs> Are we doing a picture? Yeah, let's get a picture. Oh, <laughs> Leave the man beautiful, alone. Um, so I found someone. What's your name? Andrew. Andrew. And you've been studying Mayan Lila. Mayan Lila, yeah. Mayan Lila. And what can you tell us about it? Um, well, it's about four or five thousand years old. It's, it's sited on the ground we're on now is an artificial platform. Okay. You can see the slope of the hill come down to the, that stone over there. And then from there out and beyond it's all artificial. Okay. But when you're saying <coughs> artificial, you're meaning like thousands yeah. of years old artificial. Yeah, the wow. the, the platform yeah. here would have been built to put the stone on. Goodness me. So it wasn't just a, oh look, here, let's tilt it up and stand it on end. It's no. properly constructed. Oh yeah. Goodness me. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And uh, if you were... Uh, come this way, yeah. I think you see it. Oh, we were wondering this. You've got your compass. Yeah. We were trying to work that out. See the centre line of the stone is... North-South. Okay. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. So the way this stone lines up here is perfectly north-south. So that's yeah. that's the the edges, the thin edges of the stones are pointed exactly north oh, and yeah, south here. Okay. Yeah. Yes. If you come here at the night and look up that slope, and it was quite eroded now. Yeah. If you look at that slope, you're pointing directly at the north celestial pole. Okay. Where the north star is. Okay. So this, that's the correct thing for the sundial. Wow, so it was a sundial. Aha. Uh -huh. Part of it, obviously. Yeah. So the, if you, if we didn't catch that, this slope, if you come here at night and you look directly up this slope, we're pointed directly at the North Star, right? Celestial North. Yeah, that's where the North Star is now. Yeah. Okay. So when they say, when they, they say about the, 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 the myth of the tale about it going down to drink from the water. Yeah. I'm presuming that's the shadow moving. It's the shadow, yeah. So it's, it's in effect it being a sundial and it, it tips to the water that's and it's right. again. Yeah. Amazing. That's yeah. crazy. The connection with the... With uh, the hinge. The hinge and the peak of the hill. Yeah. Th they're interconnected in some way? It's all interconnected, yeah. And we were wondering that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. See, see down there? If you go down... Follow down the slope to the sea of the ball at the bottom. Yeah. yeah. There's a small see, see the small hill beyond yeah. it? Yeah. See the slightly darker green patch on the top? Got you. Yeah. That's a ruined cane or what's left of it. Somebody's taken all the you know what a cane yeah, is? Yeah. 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 Somebody's yeah. taken all or most of the stones, they just left like a So a was base. that a was that a, a, a square? A triangle. 
an old triangle from there, so not 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 the top of the hill here. But the the care and the hinge and the stone. We're they, all linked. Oh yeah, they're all linked. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We were talking about that. That as much as uh, maybe I'm not necessarily interested in the practices of what went on. I'm interested. I am. He is. <laughs> um, the 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 science yeah. that these people had to go that is exactly north south yeah. you know and to point up it to the north star mm -hmm. i just think is incredible and then you've got this triangulation well, as well it, yes uh isosceles triangle and uh -huh. it's precise very precise yeah which is incredible that's some i was saying that to you that just how these people were doing that without all the technology that we have nowadays i mean mm. we're mere pathetic beasts compared to what these guys were doing four thousand <laughs> years ago very clever people, amazing yeah yeah, yeah. And they didn't have all these compasses and the no, governments, they just did that. it all. No, there's a few of these triangles, yeah, same triangle, connected with this stone. See the stone down by there? Yes, at the end of this little path yeah. here. Yeah. That's it, well that path, uh -huh. if you like, is one leg of a triangle. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. And down here, in, you can't see it from your brain, yeah. in the grass, there's a row of stones and they point in at this corner of the stone. Why? That's the question we need to answer. <laughs> but that's another triangle, look. Okay. And How it's the same triangle. Yeah. Goodness. That's so, amazing. in what in what context do you study this? Are you part of a university? Are you a no, hobbyist? I just do it myself. Okay. Cool. Myself. Same. We were talking about how you know people, friends of ours, are, vis are visiting Bath today and you know all the history that that has yeah. and then we're coming up here to see this and we stumble across some Roman road which is amazing yeah and then but then to look that this was 2,000 years before yeah and this is sat and it's watched all it's the watched and them goings, all come and go and it's watched these men build these roads and it was the here progress that they made yeah. and 3,500 years before the Anglo-Saxons yeah you know 3,800 years 3,900 years before the Normans it's just, it's, it's, what this has seen yeah. is amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Trudy. I'm Trudy, I'm Andrew. I'm Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Pleasure. Thank you, Johnny. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this is wonderful. Well, I what a lovely it, day I to do. I've it on the internet if you want to see There's loads more of it. What's your, are you on YouTube or? Oh, oh yeah, for some videos on YouTube a bit, but if you go. He's your expert. Um, I have in the car. I can make a note. So if you're going to be here for another minute, I have got my notebook in the car. Yeah. Um, Are I you could here also for a bit? I, I can take a while. Yeah, I went for the sun. Take some more photos. Or Perfect. Yeah. So yes, we'll okay, we'll, we'll come we'll back have. by. But no. So I'm very interested. Um, I'm interested in these kind of monuments, but I have a favorite, and you probably maybe you've heard of it, the Woodhenge at Plymouth yeah. in Germany. Um, oh, right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and so I've been uh, I've been there several times. I'm off to Germany on Friday again, right. and I'm going to go back there. Uh, anyway, thank yes. you again very much. Yes. Thank thank you. You. And we'll um, we'll, grab, we'll grab a pen. Right. Yeah. Okay. We'll back see you in a minute. minute. Thank you. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's amazing because he's saying. Oh, you know, it's artificial, and automatically we think, oh, nylon. <laughs> or, yeah. Or, oh, they poured some concrete, and then they did this, but it's artificial. So, he, in but that what they he, built that on the land, so therefore it's artificial, but they created this whole base for that stone. Yeah. It's amazing. So, that's what he was saying was that underneath the stone uh -huh. is a table a of stone. Yeah. And then they put that up. Mm -hmm. To know the directions and to know north yeah. and to be able to so tell see, the time of the you day. You see that stone? Yeah. You see that stone? You know exactly where north is. Yeah. It's almost like a way marker. Yeah. And when you look up, you can see the Arctic North. That's amazing. And just, you never know who you're going to meet. Isn't it wonderful? Right? <laughs> and like, what are the... <laughs> the chances. What are the chances <laughs> that... So you know, because we've been talking He's about. He also pointed out the cairn, which you hadn't even known no. about. You know that you've got the cairn that creates that. Maybe triangle. we should go down there and see what's left of it. You can. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't have the energy. Okay. <laughs> but man, that guy was Amazing. so interesting. Like I, you're just the chances of coming up here, looking at this stone in the middle of nowhere. And then you've got basically a self-taught professor of the subject that you're looking at. Yeah. <laughs> Who's just doing it as a passion. Right place, right time. <laughs> oh my gosh. It helps that you're capable, wonderful assistant. What a it treat. Helps. Oh yes, thank you, Trudy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Trudy. Oh, get a grip. Trudy. Trudy would never, we would have never found it out <laughs> without her. Thank you. I also found so, uh, okay. She did. Also, she did find the henge. She's like, oh, wait. This is it. It's here. <laughs> this is the circle. I thought I was recording that part, but I wasn't because I'm an idiot. But that's okay. Oh, my gosh. No, so um, I came to Wales with my group of knitting ladies. That was the original purpose of the trip. Um, and Trudy and her mom organized the whole thing. So uh, Trudy has been kind enough to drive me out to Breck on Beacons today to have a look at these things and so you all really owe her for this. <laughs> um, but no, it's been lovely to have you along and I'm so excited that we fun. can share this because yeah. the other, so the ladies have gone to Bath today. Which is cool. Which is great, but well, it's not this. It, we, we found, we Roman found Roman it road. better. We found a <laughs> Roman road. <laughs> That way I can go back tonight and say, I touched some Roman rocks too. <laughs> oh my goodness. In a non-euphemistic way. <laughs> <laughs> Just to I love Roman stones. <laughs> oh yeah. Whew. Right, moving on. Okay. Cool. So I think I'm going to take this opportunity to visit the nature. <laughs> and then we are going to go get some information. I've got some really exciting stuff for you guys. Um, check the description. So this guy is going to give me um, his website and some uh, information um, where we can learn more about these stones. So check the description. Um, and yeah, so let's get going. Bye. I really wish this wind muff would stay out of my camera frame. Look, see how it, when I move this way, it dips in quality. Oh, I can could, like edit it. We could edit do a little it. bit of wax on it, to a little bit of pomade to. I can, yeah. <laughs> Hard one pass it, one. <laughs> Why did I get that on camera? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>